Before we dive into the unveiling of new characters, let me make one thing clear. I absolutely despise spoilers. Tear into this video is all about introducing you to the fresh faces in Star Ocean The Second Story R, and we won't be spoiling anything else. I've dedicated more than 20 hours delving into the demo, and believe me, I've unearthed a wealth of new information and exciting discoveries. I'm currently working on a couple of videos to share all the changes and secrets that I've found. Okay, let's get to it. Today we've got something awesome in store as we've uncovered all of the new characters added to Star Ocean The Second Story R. The new characters can be utilized as part of the game's exciting new mechanic, Assault Formation. You can set a total of up to four additional characters at once, each mapped to your D-pad controls. Not only can you set the new characters, but you can also set other party members who aren't in your main lineup. And here's the beauty of it. Whether you're in need of a heavy hitter, a magic user, or a support expert, each character brings their own unique skills and attacks to the battlefield. It's worth mentioning that when using non-guest characters in your assault formation, you're able to pick and choose what ability they'll use in battle. Just keep in mind that they each have their own cooldown timer for some tactical balance. Okay, let's take a look at our first new character. Letitia Osirius takes the spotlight as one of the two main protagonists and crown princess of the Kingdom of Osirius in Star Ocean The Divine Force. What sets Letitia apart is her lightning-fast combat style. Wielding dual blades, she dispatches enemies with finesse and grace. Unlike the other new characters, we've already seen her assault attack. The rising, multi-hit AoE attack, Ultim Kamui. Series fans will recognize this move as her signature vatting attack from the Divine Force. The great thing about us knowing Letitia's assault attack is that we can predict with some certainty what the other new characters' attacks will likely be. The new characters are accessible by obtaining their respective jewels. If you played the demo, you likely noticed this when unlocking Letitia towards the end. To prove we aren't pulling these names out our asses, we'll display the character unlock screen as we introduce each new character. Next up, let's shine the spotlight on Roddick Ferentz the OG protagonist from the very first game in the Star Ocean series. Roddick's roots trace back to the planet Roke, and he's legendary for a reason, his battle prowess. Roddick is a true physical all-rounder, mastering melee and sporting some powerful ranged combat. He wields Federation swordplay techniques like a pro, and his moves are a force to be reckoned with. You might be familiar with his iconic Dragon Roar move, a move that'll carry you through the entire game. However, in Star Ocean 2R, Roddick's assault action will most likely be Dragon Slash, or a variation of his signature Thunderclap Blade. Interestingly, this move holds a special place in Roddick's repertoire, as it's not only one of his final two moves unlocked in Star Ocean, but also his limit burst in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Fans of the first game will be happy to see Roddick joining the fray, even if it is in a supporting role. We're taking on the YouTube algorithm, and if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you aboard. Okay, back to the video. Next up, we've got a character who tends to stir up some lively debates among fans. Enter Edge Maverick, our main hero from Star Ocean The Last Hope. He's one of those characters you either love or, well, have some mixed feelings about. Edge is a versatile melee character, but here's the interesting twist. Thanks to some crucial plot points that I won't spoil, he's not your average fighter. He also wields symbology and boasts some remarkable resilience beyond what you'd expect from a regular human. When it comes to predicting Edge's assault action, there's one skill that stands out. Scintillant Stream. This flashy, multi-hit move is more than just eye candy. It's a testament to Edge's hidden potential. In the original game, unlocking Scintillant Stream was a challenge reserved for the most dedicated players who completed a secret task. It's a move that packs a punch and leaves an impression, for better or for worse, much like Edge himself. Fate Line God, a character beloved among fans, offers a stark contrast to Edge. As the main protagonist of Star Ocean Till the End of Time, Fate's character has left a lasting impression on many. He's a master of symbology, wielding symbols to devastating effect. What truly sets him apart is the Destruction Gene, a genetic trait that grants him godlike powers, making him a formidable force on the battlefield. When Fate powers up using symbology, you're in for a show. Notably, Fate once used his immense power to bring down an entire city-sized spaceship with his move Ethereal Blast. This spectacular feat suggests that it's a strong contender for his assault attack. After all, it's one of the flashiest attacks in the series. 
For those who skipped over the flawed PSP port, there was still something good that came out of it. A fully playable new character. Now, let's delve into the details of the newcomer, Welch Vineyard, a character who's made appearances in multiple games across the series including Star Ocean First Departure, Second Evolution, The Last Hope, and Amnesis, Integrity and Faithlessness, The Divine Force, and Till the End of Time. So pretty much all of them at this point, she's woven into the lore of the series. A cheerful inventor, Welch is connected to the item creation system, but also appears as a playable character in several games. Armed with her trusty handy stick, she adds a unique flavor to each game's story. She's not just a character, she captures the series' playful nature, often providing some much-needed comic relief and has solidified her position as a series mainstay. Now let's meet the merchant captain Raymond Lawrence from Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Raymond is a Virgoldian from planet Virgold. At just 22 years old, Raymond is already the captain of the merchant vessel Edus. Unaffected by the underdeveloped planet preservation pact, his fearless approach to business knows no bounds. However, early into our journey in SD583, an unforeseen assault on the Edus by a Pangalactic Federation battleship forever changes his destiny. Raymond is a powerhouse, specializing in combat with the Greatsword. His unique batting attack, Extreme Daredevil, delivers a devastating strike. And as is with Letitia, we can probably expect it to be his assault action. Next up, introducing Fidel Camus, a character whose inclusion in Assault Formation may leave fans scratching their heads. The main protagonist of Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness, Fidel's battle style and moveset is similar to Fate's. There are a few fan theories as to why he shares a moveset with Fate, but that's a discussion for another time. As Fidel embarks on his journey, he joins forces with his companions in a quest to secure assistance from the Rasulian army for the defense of his hometown. Along the way, their encounter with Relia sets the stage for the adventure to come. Fidel wields one-handed swords and, as I mentioned earlier, has almost identical moves to Fate. This includes the ethereal blast that I've predicted to be Fate's assault action. Which raises the question, what will Fidel's be? My bet is on a modified version of ethereal blast. There's also the intriguing prospect of an entirely new move being created, or even the incorporation of his fortitude and vigor attack buff from Star Ocean and Amnesis. Surprisingly, I'm actually more intrigued by Fidel's inclusion than the other characters, because his assault action could be anything. As I mentioned earlier, I have several more Star Ocean 2 videos in the pipeline, including a few that I can't reveal just yet. One video that I'm particularly excited about is a comprehensive breakdown of all the changes between the original game and the remake. It includes some details that, surprisingly, don't appear to have been covered anywhere else online. Okay, if you'd like to keep the contents of the new treasure chests that have been placed around the world map a surprise, then now's the time to stop watching this video. Otherwise, let's go check out the new loot. Thank you.